I'm very, very aware that Peter Dirk Ace has been chosen as an icon. And I really don't mind because I was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. And I said, no, there is somebody else who needs it more than I did. And they gave it to Desmond Tutu. You know, as a little boy, my big hero was Hendrik Favort because that's where we were brought up. Favort was a gift from God. I used to have a picture on Favort on the wall of my room at home. That's before I found out that Sophia Loren had better legs than the architect of apartheid. And she saved my life because Favort fell down off the wall and Sophia Loren stayed there. I wanted to be a teacher. Now that was very serious. And then I met a drama student, an actress in the canteen at university with a beret and a cigarette holder. And I thought, my God, I want to look like that. Peter Dirk Ace, he has been very, very busy making fun of Afrikaners, the National Party. I look back now and I think it was important because some things were silly. Our dresses were too long, not fashionable. But then he started making fun of me. I've got a diet for her, excuse me. I mean, I have to diet for a woman who doesn't exist. I mean, I think a psychiatrist could make money on that. And so I just realized, you know, I must have a Christian point of view here and just, you know, love your enemy. And now, of course, we are a democracy. Do you know that Nelson Mandela's first phone call after he became president was to me? Mrs. Besaiden, and there's a big room there's called the kitchen. I don't know what to do. Would you help me? I went to cook for Nelson Mandela, which was so easy because for 27 years, all he had was bread and water twice a day. Evita has been embraced by an extraordinary selection of people without question. She's got that sense of people trust her because she doesn't embarrass and she doesn't attack. Oh, look, Favut should be so lucky to look so smart, eh? I'm going to leave a lot of it up to you. Almost like photobombing Favut. I was fighting with my father all the time because he didn't like what I did. He was scared of what I did. And I knew that, you know, like a little 12-year-old, stick my tongue out at Favort and all these people. But it was an instinctive thing. I think I only really had the courage to have an opinion as me after the age of 45. I hid behind characters constantly. portrait was to celebrate him the man and what he actually done and so we had him literally photobombing for Wood. and that portrait is just a metaphor for his career he's helped us laugh at ourselves the one thing i will fight for the rest of my life is the freedom of expression and the freedom of speech that makes it possible for us to say what has to be said